Hey, welcome back. We're in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 7, verse 31 to 35 today. And the Lord said, To what then shall I liken the men of this generation, and what are they like? They are like children sitting in the marketplace and calling to one another, saying, We played the flute for you, and you did not dance. We mourned for you, and you did not weep. For John the Baptist came neither eating bread nor drinking wine, and you say, He has a demon. The Son of Man is come eating and drinking, and you say, Look, a glutton and a wine-bibber, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is justified by all her children. So here we have, again, a lot of contrast. What, what are these people like, these lawyers and scribes and Pharisees that are rejecting uh, God's purpose for them? What are they like? And he says, they're basically, no matter what you do, you cannot please them. If John the Baptist came fasting and self-denying, and they just laughed at him. They said, well, this, is, this guy's a hokey guy that grew up in the country. He doesn't, he's crazy. And then Jesus came, and he's eating with them. He's feasting at their tables with them, giving his presence and, and his gentleness to them. And they're saying, well, look, look at him. He, he can't be the Messiah. Look at his behavior. He's eating with tax collectors, of all things. You know, he's surely a bad person. So you have this, you know, you can't please them. And, you know, the saying goes, you can't please all the people all the time. Uh, this looks kind of like you can't please any of the people any of the time. And it's because, you know, we have our own preconceptions. We have our own plans. We have our own purposes. We want things to be done the way we've marked it out. We think it's that we, we know the way it should be. And, oh, yeah, if he checks these boxes, I'll accept him. Jesus is warning us here, friend. He's warning us and saying, you know, it's not that people have to dance to our tune. What needs to be is that we find out God's will and we turn our hearts toward him. It, it's really rather simple. There's a certain amount of humility. There's a certain amount of willingness to stop and say, okay, God, you know, the Bible says, taste and see that the Lord is good. A lot of people aren't willing to taste. They're not willing to see. They're blind, therefore, because their eyes are closed. Their heart is closed. May it not be true of us. May we actually be, be ready to receive all the goodness that, that the Lord Jesus has for us. Let us pray. Dear Father in heaven, we want to be available to you. We want to represent you. We want our lives to be a testimony to your goodness and your grace. So Lord, use us. Help us. Our hearts are so hard, Lord. Help us to back up and be willing to let you be God. Help us to be willing to receive from you. Thank you for hearing our prayers, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, friend, may God's blessing be with you today as you always turn back and surrender and go back to Jesus and say, you know what, Lord, your way is the right way. I'm in. God's blessing be upon you.